Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be all about the capsule wardrobe system because I feel like it's been a while since I've done a real capsule wardrobe video. I just wanted to quickly give you an update on my whole experience with the project. I've been doing it for about a year now and some of you may have already noticed that I've kind of been struggling a little bit with the system for the past couple of months. I'm just gonna list uh, my personal pros and cons to the, to the capsule wardrobe system. Um, the, the biggest pro is definitely that I have learned to define my own true style. I've learned to, to you know, be true to my own style. I've learned with what kind of qualities I like, what kind of colors I like and what kind of fits I like, you know, all that. And I've also learned to stop buying things out of impulse. I've learned to plan my shopping and, you know, only go for things that I really want. Doesn't mean that I don't make mistakes because I do. I still have bought something that I haven't worn um, as much as I thought I would. But, you know, I've definitely come a long way since I started a year ago. And the biggest con is uh, that, you know, the capsule wardrobe system itself is very static. And um, to me, life goes up and down. I change my mind some, sometimes. And, you know, the capsule wardrobe system doesn't leave a lot of room for that. So that's kind of the tricky part. And it has also been the tricky part for me, especially now that there's gone, you know, a year has passed. And, you know, as a, as a follower on Instagram wrote to me the other day, um, as much as I love, or as much as we minimalists love, uh, strap tops, a pair of jeans and black Chelsea boots, that does get boring too, you know? <laughs> sometimes I love it, I'm okay with it, and in, in sometimes, uh, some periods during my life, it's all I wear and I'm fine with that, but at other times I'm just, I feel like being a little bit more playful and the capsule wardrobe system, it just doesn't leave a lot of room for that. So, you know, that's kind of the reason why I, <laughs> I've been struggling with the system the, the past couple of months. As you may have seen in one of my previous videos, my Fall Capsule 2016 video, I changed the seasons from four smaller seasons into two huge seasons. And I totally re regret that now. I won't recommend it if you uh, like me are tired of the very static uh, way that it, the capsule wardrobe system is built. So I actually think that I'm gonna go back to the four seasons because that means that you can alter the, the capsule wardrobe uh, more than just two times a year. Basically I have my capsule wardrobe which contains of my basics and it contains of season pieces which now it's fall, it's heavier knits and my, you know, my d padded down jacket, you know, things that fit this season. And then I have a few trend items and that could be, you know, something that's very trendy now, maybe a knit in a certain color or, you know, I also have a pair of studded boots. So that's kind of the capsule wardrobe uh, that I have now. And I'm actually very happy with that way of doing it. Doing it. But I also feel like I need just a couple of jokers, uh, you know, products from previous seasons. Maybe um, right now I've taken out like five different products from my summer capsule and I've just, you know, hung them together in my closet. And I feel like, you know, I should be able to take some of that out whenever I feel like it. If I really miss that item and I really want to wear it, I should be able to wear it. And if I want to hide it away again, I'm gonna do that. So I'm keeping this very systematic approach to it, but I'm trying to make it a little bit more loose and make it a little bit more fluid. I feel like this video is gonna be so messy. I really hope that you understand what I mean. And it's not so much that I'm in doubt whether I should continue with this uh, minimal wardrobe approach because I'm not really in doubt about that. I still believe that we should uh, try to seek other ways to have fun with fashion without you know, destroying our planet and without just buying new things whenever we feel like it. 
and also to actually use the things that we buy and make sure that it's the right things that we buy um, you know to to buy more things that we, we really love and that we really love to wear it's also about you know moderating it so that it fits your life and the things that you go through so for me a more you know fluent approach just seems more and more right because i just I just get bored at times with this whole static thing, you know, that you have to stick with, with only the things that you choose for that particular season. This whole getting bored thing is, has been for me what has led me to buy things out of impulse. Ow! Oh, sorry. So it, it's, to me it's all about finding a way that fits you, fits your life, fits your mind. Uh, I have a mind that goes up and down. So I change my mind sometimes, like I just said before. Sometimes I like to keep it simple, but at other times I like to be a little bit more playful. And I don't think that the, the capsule wardrobe as it is now uh, leaves a lot of room for that. So yeah, I'm gonna try to have a more loose and more fluent approach to the capsule wardrobe system and I hope that it really works out for me. I hope it works out for you as well if you feel like you've been missing you know, more space and more room to be able to change your mind. Um, I hope this video gave you some inspiration and I hope that it wasn't uh, too messy and I hope that it kind of gives you an image of you know that you can still be able to have a systematic and very minimal uh, approach to wardrobes uh, without overdoing it and also find the approach that fits you i know that my wardrobe probably doesn't seem very minimal now at all because i've altered the the capsule wardrobe system so much but you know i still feel like it has a very minimal approach because i don't go out and buy a lot of new things i try to hold back and whenever i buy something i try to really ask myself would i wear this product 30 times um, you know i try to have a i try to maintain a, a realistic and healthy balance i guess so i hope you liked this video i hope it wasn't too messy uh, and I hope it gave you some inspiration on how to alter the capsule wardrobe system so that it fits you and your life. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. And um, yeah, have a great day. Bye.